here is a case of unusual presentation of post operative ursl and cystolithotripsy with high grade fever within the first day normally we think because it is because of the ursl or endourology procedure cystolithotripsy but uh, stlc has raised very high very high grade fever and patient presented with retention after removing the catheter so we suspected uh, either the stone will be there in the ureter or prostatic abscess we did ultrasound there is no hydronephrosis in the kidney mild pyelonephritic changes were present but that will not cause that much but when we did transrectal ultrasound in fact this patient pr examination was normal before now when we did bogginess was there immediately transrectal ultrasound bedside one multiple small abscesses are there diabetic patient uh relatively aged and uh, the surgery both cystolithotripsy and ursl might have caused either bacteremia or the other reasons prostatic multiple abscesses so our immediate aim was uh, to do minimally invasive drainage that is drainage transrectally through the ultrasound guided with needle so wherever the hypoechoic clear fluid available we aspirated and every time aspiration has uh, yielded 2 to 3 ml of the pus which is more than enough uh, to reduce the uh, infection and to reduce the systemic inflammatory reaction though we have given higher antibiotics uh, we felt that uh, this procedure essential so in endoscopic surgery prostatic abscess occasionally can occur in immunocompromised patients or diabetic patients you can observe the small all of were there preferably in periphery even in the sub urethral lesion also if it is large we can aspirate but if it is sub urethral lesion large abscess better to do it transurethrally there are only two methods uh, we can drain one is transrectal another is uh, transurethral maybe transperineal also so all the aspirations have yielded pus we have sent for culture significant tlc reduced happened in the post operative period and uh, patient recovery was dramatic here the reason of presenting this video is we suspected in the correct time the prostatic abscess because he went into retention even though he had retention before that may be because of the stone in the bladder but this time retention after removal of the stone should be some something else either stone in the ureter might have dropped or in the bladder might have dropped for that uh, we we have done cystoscopy nothing was found but this cystoscopy we have done during the prostatic abscess only just before prostatic abscess cystoscopy done uh, in fact ultrasound collapsed bladder there was no echogenic shadow in the ureter as well as in the bladder when uh, multiple abscesses are present we don't want to blame any other thing except the prostatic abscess so again you can see multiple abscesses so nicely seen on this uh, transrectal ultrasound with high frequency and the pro guide will be there and directly it will drain so all these pass uh, drainage is very important uh, only antibiotics uh, may not help in this patient unnecessarily hospital stay and morbidity will increase so aspiration of the pus is the best treatment thank you